Welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. And today we are going to be talking about our favorite layering combos for fragrances. Yes, these are some combinations that we've seen online, some things we've come up with ourselves by just experimenting around. And, uh, you know, they're unique. And it's if you want to smell a little different, you know, it's always fun to just try things out. And it's some of these make yeah. fragrances better. Definitely. By adding two together, so. Yeah, so let's get into it. Yeah, all right. Let's go the expensive way first. Cool. So this is the expensive layering combo. Yes. Um, and when we say, when you layer, you want to do the heavier scent on first, the lighter scent on top. Definitely. So if we were going to spray this one, I would spray Aventus on my hand first, and then I would take Baccarat Rouge 540. And put it right on top. Yes. And. I've worn this one much more than Luke has because I yeah. keep Aventus at my house. Yeah. It creates like a cotton candy Aventus is the best way to put it. Yeah. Uh, it's unique. It is expensive. So if you feel like you're just burning money spraying two great fragrances on, <laughs> I would tend to shy away from it, yeah. but it's a good one. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about is, you know, just having fun with it and again, thinking about what's going to go best as far as like the sweetness of this with the freshness and the kind of you know pepperiness and pineapple is yeah yeah um because we definitely know you know uh you know our friend uh who works at bloomingdale's he likes to layer some fragrances that are a little you know a little, <laughs> a little strange a little strange yeah so definitely like have that in mind yeah. like a fresher with a sweet or like you know if you have a heavy fragrance and you want a light fragrance, don't don't go a little you know yeah, too you, crazy. You don't want to go <laughs> two 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 thick fragrances together yeah, and just definitely. really choke someone out. Definitely. And but, these ones balance each other out. Definitely. Yeah. So, back at Rouge Five Forty and Creed Aventus. All right, let's go all the way over here. Cool. So our next one, we've actually featured this in a video a long time ago. Yeah. Like almost two years ago is Dolce & Gabbana's The One, and you can use the EDT or the EDP on this one. Yes. Mixed and with Havas from Razazi. Yes, you Razazi. Razazi. <laughs> um, you know, you know, Havas is that bubblegummy, um, fruity, uh, Invictus-like fragrance. They call it, you know, the Invictus killer because the performance is just like insane. And then the dark yeah. tobacco-y sexiness of The One yeah. And what I like about this one is, is it freshens up the one and still keeps it warm yeah. to a point where I actually think it makes the one smell way better. Yeah. Um, so it definitely just complements the one and doesn't, versus it, you know, smelling uh, more, you know, light and sweet, it kind of just helps lift up the darkness of that a little bit and make it more of, I guess you could almost say like, like, I would say the one is more of like a date night you know, yeah, nighttime, dark nighttime, where this, cool this can make it a little more like neutral. I yeah, it makes it more versatile. Yeah, more sure. versatile. Yeah. Um, because I wouldn't wear this one when it's warm out, but yeah. if, when you mix them, I feel like like a summer night. Yeah. You can mix them together and create like a sexy like nighttime. Yeah. Vibe, and so this is a fun one to try. Dolce Gabbana is the one. Put it on first. Yeah, and then Razazi Havas. And you can always play with the layering too. Like yeah. if you're like, okay, I want it to be even fresher. Do like one two and then go one two three right? yeah so play it's sprays yeah, yeah play with it whichever you're feeling more of if you want to feel a little bit darker do more of this than yeah. that cool yeah and next <laughs> this is a pretty famous mixture i feel like yes for sure because i every time we do the i do a live people always ask me about ultramel and i go every time i wear ultramel i always wear Savage with it. Yes. Um, ultra savage, yeah. ultra savage. Savage, yes. Um, it's sexy. It's definitely a powerful, very powerful <laughs> fragrance. You will be flashy. noticed. Very flashy. I mean, come on, you got Savage. I, and ultra. I remember the first time Luke wore it. I, he was like, oh, what should I wear today? I go, wear Ultra Mel <laughs> and Savage. Yeah. And he went to work. Yeah. And everyone was like, you smell so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, fun thing is, is if you don't have Savage, you can always use Carbon. Yes. It works the same way. Pretty much, yeah. And it is sweet and it's ambery. Um, it's hard to describe. Yeah. It literally makes this one and that one. To me, smell better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
So, I mean, this is, I feel like, one of the most, like, popular and most known mixes. Yeah. Um, don't they have a clone house that makes, like, their own version of them, like, mixed together? I think so. Right? Yeah. So, uh, definitely try this one out. Super fun and super flashy. Yes. So, yeah. Very flashy. <laughs> and it makes Ultramel be able to wear more throughout the year when it's not cold out. And cool out. Yeah. Um, which is nice. So. Yeah. It is very strong, though. You will be noticed. Definitely. Going to a party and you want to get noticed? This is the combo for you. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, next. This is my personal favorite, and I actually wear this one probably the most out of all these layering combination, is Lacoste Loam Intense, mixed with Yves Saint Laurent's Ultime. And what I like about this one is um, it turns it into a ginger, rose, rhubarb, amber scent. Ginger, rose, rhubarb, and amber. And it makes both of these, which I love on their own, smell way better. And it's very unique. Um, I really, really like this one. I don't know if Luke's smelled it in a while. So. I don't know, yeah. Wanna old team me? Alrighty. So it, this is like pure freshness. Yeah. Yeah, this is very Jeff. Yeah. You definitely wear this a lot, yeah. It's super fresh. You're gonna smell really, really good. You're gonna smell really, really unique. Um, this one is a very affordable to buy. That one just recently got discontinued, but it's still affordable online. It won't yes. be a year from now. So if you were ever interested in an old team, which is amazing by itself, get it now. Yeah. But such a unique mix. Definitely, definitely. Like the more it settles, it's more like the rhubarb starts to really pop. Yeah, it's very floral. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So. This is a fun one. This is my personal favorite. This is the one I wear the most. Like he said, it smells like Jeff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So if you want to smell like you know me. Jeff smells like this. That's it. <laughs> All right, and our last one. So, this is our buddy Jeremy's fragrances. On one of our lives, someone told me to go mix unisex with office. It smells great. I actually never smelled this one, to be honest. With yeah, you. yeah, so we can, we can spray it on my hand. Should we spray it on Sean? No. <laughs> Sean's Luke's little brother holding the light for us yeah. right now. All right, so I'm gonna put Office on first, and then Unisex is gonna go on top. Oops. Shake it. Ooh. It's strong. Yeah. Because both are strong anyways. Interesting, yeah. It reminds me of a slightly different version of yeah. Ultra Savage. Definitely, definitely. It smells like Ultra Savage. Wow. Yeah, and it's it's a little bit more bubblegummy. Definitely. Yeah. And a little bit more florally from the office, but it smells really good. So if you actually own both of those, Office or Unisex, I mean these are our two favorites from the, the Fragrance One line. Yep. They work great together. And then another YouTuber told me to try black tie and date for men together. Personally think that they're both are way too strong to mix. <laughs> but apparently they work and they smell good too. Yeah. Would you try black tie and date? Let's try, I'll try it. Try it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do a 20 spray. <laughs> Just soak ourselves. Yeah. But yeah, layering's fun. Um, yeah. What layers do you guys like to try? Which layers have you tried already? Yeah. Um, comment down below. Comment down below. If this video once again gets Let's say 300, 300 work. Sure. First we do 400, 300? 300. 300 likes. We will have our guests come and try these layerings for you so you can see what they think of the layering. So hit that like button, leave a comment below which ones you've tried. Let us know if there's other layering combinations you think we should try because we're always open to trying new things. Yeah. And check out Luke Baker Music. Yes. And check out Jeff. Check us out. <laughs> At Jeff Victor. <laughs> you should be following our social media accounts. Uh, we do do our Fragrance of the Night on yeah. our Instagram. Um, so make sure you're following along if you want to see what we're wearing on the reg. And yeah, so bye guys. Mm -hmm.